Hey, disclaimer, this podcast is about the period and my disdain for it. So gentlemen, you can move on if you want to, or you can stay and listen, because then you get a better understanding of what not to do to piss a woman off when you're, you're cranky. Okay. Anyhow. So I've been having my period since the age of 11. And I am now 41. That's been 30 years. Three. Zero. My son is nine. And I don't want any more children. Okay? Not one. So my body is telling me, every 26 days, my body says to me, oh, look, you're not pregnant. You know? And I'm like, really? That's all you needed to tell me? I'm not pregnant? And you, you can't find a better way of saying it to me <laughs> than five days of inconvenience and achy breasts and just an overall crankiness. You can't find a better way of telling me, Angela, you're not pregnant. Then, body, I have told you, I'm done having babies. I don't want any more children. I think I've made that pretty clear. You're not listening. So I'll tell it to you again, body. I am good with my one child. I don't need any more. It's like this, guys. So every time, I don't know how many of you get the breast tenderness, the cramping, the nausea and vomiting. I don't know. But I practice traditional Chinese medicine. And so when you get the breast tenderness, you say that's liver chi stagnation, right? When you get the cramps, liver chi stagnation. But then if those are really sharp, you know, before you pass clots, blood stagnation because it stabs you. Oh, my God. But then it gets better. The nausea and not just the nausea, but the vomiting. And you've, you've, well, I vomit so much. I dry heave till my chest hurts. And you know, I've gotten smart about it because I love kale. So kale is alkalizing. So I know I'm going to vomit. So what do I do? I eat kale so that when it comes up, it doesn't burn. <laughs> right? Or have some baking soda water. So when you vomit, you've neutralized the acid. You're not going to erode your teeth and burn your esophagus. Huh? Right? So that's what I've done to accommodate my body's rebellion. And I've been saying to my body now, okay, listen, I'm done. I, I don't want any more kids. And I was doing some digging and I'm like, my theory is we have a period because we are domesticated. Because if you think about it, we were wild women, you know, hunter gatherers. You can't be out in the middle of the bush hunting and be bleeding because you're going to be hunted. Like, so it doesn't make any sense. It seems unnatural to me. So I'm saying to my body, okay, listen. I know I'm not pregnant. You know I'm not pregnant. So why don't you reabsorb all of that energy and strength? Because you know why? It sucks to be extremely fatigued. Your legs feel like jelly. And you're so weak. All you want to do is lay down. I'm like, and then that day before, my head hurts. And I'm anemic. I am so anemic. My doctor says to me, you are blood transfusion low. Do something. You go take this iron supplement ASAP. And I'm like, seriously? Look at not all female athletes, but the majority of them when they're really slender like that, I think, what did they tell you? I think it's less than 12% body fat. 
you stop getting a period, amenorrhea, where your body says, oh, you need that energy for something else? So fine, I won't give you a period then. So clearly the body is intelligent. So I don't do major exercise. Actually, I don't do any exercise because I don't even get, I don't have the strength for that. I need all the oxygen I can get. I'm not going to dispense it with sweating and, and strenuous exercise. I already have an inverted T wave for my heartbeat. Like, because like, seriously, the day before my period, my heart hurts me. The heart governs blood. And it's like, I say to my body, do you like feeling like this? Do you like being exhausted? Do you like having to call the ambulance and be given morphine? Do you like that? Just so you can tell me I'm not pregnant? Like, what the giddy up is that? I just... <sighs> Some people think, oh, it's because you eat meat. I eat meat in the winter because, let me tell you something, it is cold up in here. Now, when I go to Barbados, I don't necessarily eat meat because it's hot. So I can eat all the raw food I want because I can lay out on a hot rock like an iguana, okay? That's what I can do. But here in Alberta, we are cold nine and a half months out of the year <laughs> that's at least i think it's that long because it is i'm always cold always i have to have something hot all the time and it's like i keep saying to my body stop it there's a better way to do this i just don't know what it is yet because you don't want to disrupt a function right this is why i don't take birth control because that is disruptive so I'm like, okay, what can we do? Clearly, people say when you have amenorrhea that your your body becomes really acidic and the only way to neutralize the acid is to draw calcium from your bones. And I'm like, well, I don't want have I don't want to have arthritis either, right? Or osteoporosis. I don't want to have those things. So that didn't make any sense to me either. And I'm like, but wait. The uterus, the lining of the uterus is so nutrient dense because it has to support the fertilized egg, right? It is so nutrient dense. I am severely anemic. So you're trying to tell me that my body doesn't know this? Of course it knows it. It put me in this position. So I'm trying to tell my body, hey, reabsorb this. I need it. So I... I'm just like, you're trying to tell me I have another 15 to 20 years of this before menopause? My dad came over and I was already short-tempered because I could feel the pain coming on and I just wanted to lay down. I didn't want to talk. I didn't want to be around anybody. Just leave me alone. And he's coming over and he's telling me something. And I said, did you come over here to piss me off today? Because you should go home. He goes, I'll tell you like it is. And I'm like, <sighs> I'm telling myself, don't kill anybody. Don't kill anybody. And I just came in my room <laughs> and I lay down. I'm like, I just can't. I cannot be around people during this time. I don't, and I don't think it's necessarily because my breasts hurt or whatever the case may be. I think I'm so annoyed. I am annoyed. I don't think you understand how annoyed I am. It's been 30 cotton picking years. 30 years. 30 years of losing so much blood that I am now anemic. To the point is where I'm going to have to get somebody else's blood inside of my body. Come on now. So, if you have suggestions, 
share them because I'm trying, I'm trying to understand all the possibilities. Because doesn't my body have to do what I tell it? Doesn't my body have to work with me? But I feel like it's working against me in this situation. And I, I'm i just so frustrated. Like I want to cry. Like sometimes I do cry because I've been dry heaving so much. To the point as to where my chest hurts to even breathe from the pain of dry heaving. And I'm just like, this is not a good feeling. And it cannot be right. Mother Nature doesn't make mistakes. But somewhere along the line, I think we've mucked it up. And I was digging around on the internet, trying to figure out different theories and finding people's opinions on 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 the period and the most of them that I came across were by men and I'm like get out of here with that talk don't you be telling me anything about the period because I will beat you you can't even send a man to the store to buy you pads or tampons or a bloody well cup you can't send him for that because he's like Ew, that's so gross. That's embarrassing. I don't want anybody to see me buying that. Please. Like, ugh. 30 years? 30? I think my body should listen to me. When I've said, I'm done. I don't want any more babies. But then my girlfriend says to me, but hey, if you stop the period too early, don't you lose your sex drive? Doesn't it keep, doesn't your, having your period keep you young? A lot of women say that. I'm like, how in the hell can having my period keep me young when I am low in blood and low in oxygen and low in red blood cells? How is that keeping me young? That is aging me faster than anything else. So I'm just like, what are your thoughts on this? Like, some people say, oh, you do a, a water fast. You just do water. And I'm like, I do not have the physical strength to just do water. <laughs> That's just not going to happen for me. I would probably drop dead. I need the nutrients. And I know that, um, I don't want to call his name because I don't know if that would be infringing on anything, but he's a firm believer that the, the period is unnatural. I agree with him on that. And apparently if you go raw vegan, you can make it really, really light to the point it's still where it goes away. So then the question becomes, just like in amenorrhea, a very, uh, like a top female athlete, not getting a period, but being predisposed to osteoporosis because of leaching calcium from the bones to neutralize acidity in the body. But I figure if you're doing green, you're neutralizing that. Hmm. So greens. I do a lot of greens. I love kale because that's my, listen, this is how bad it is. Because I know I'm always going to vomit. I make sure to eat kale. Even though I'm so nauseous, I make sure and eat kale. Because why? Kale neutralizes stomach acid so that all that vomiting that I do, it may hurt to do the physical act, but it won't burn. You've vomited so much, now you're bringing up the bile from the bottom of your stomach. Yeah, that would be me. See how bad that foolishness gets? So there has to be that that one way makes sense to me to go raw vegan but i'm so cold all the time which is part of to me the anemia because blood is warming i don't have enough so that's why i'm so cold all the time so if my body is smart enough to tell me angela surprise you're not pregnant i'm like yay i'm willing to concede with my body and say, okay, fine. I'll give you one day. 
Just tell me I'm not, I don't need five days. What, I don't know after day one that I'm not pregnant? Please. And you're going to tell me, you're going to take five days to tell me that I'm not pregnant. Really? 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 So I said, okay, let's negotiate. I'll do one day or better yet. I need that energy and that strength and to build my blood up. How about we only have the period every four months? Eh? For three days. Every four months, have a three-day period. I'm like, I can concede with that one too. So I I don't know. So if you figured out a way besides using birth control, because I'm not about that life. Don't muck around with my hormones, right? So if you found a way to reduce or stop your period naturally, I want to hear from you. Because, listen, if taking out my uterus was an option, that's where I'd be right now. But it is not an option. I just, I'm just tired. I'm exhausted and I am tired. And this nonsense has to stop. There's no reason why. And then on top of that, 15 more years before menopause? What the? I want to say, miss me with that bullshit. You know, like, I can't take any more of it. I can't. I really, really cannot. I think it has worn me down so much. It has worn me down so much. Emotionally and psychologically. And men... Don't be joking about P. Oh, you got is it a time of the month? Is that why you're so cranky? Listen, I will beat you. That's how mad I get sometimes because I'm so annoyed with the fact it's like dun 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 impending period approaching. And I, I get filled with such angst. And I get so easily agitated that I feel like I want to become violent. So I just lock myself in my room instead (laughs) and eat chocolate. But all jokes aside, there has to be a way to fix this besides just going raw vegan. Because raw food is really hard on the digestive system. Because there's been that question, "Do, do black people go vegan? I'm like... I think you eat what is indigenous to you. So clearly, if you're on the continent of Africa, it's hot more than it's not. And you're on the move. So yeah, you eat raw. And your body functions optimally on that. But then we move somewhere else. Now you have to modify how you eat based on where you are to accommodate for climate. And so that has an impact on the body as well. So you got to pay attention to your body. And I'm like, okay, I keep hearing, yes, you have to pay attention to your body. So that's why I started talking to my body. I'm like, what do you want? What is your motive here? What do you need me to do? So yeah, I talk to my body. I really do. But I'm just tired now and I'm really desperate for a solution because I don't think I can take one more year of having a period. But like I said, I don't want to lose my sex drive either by having a premature menopause. So what is the solution? I guess it's raw vegan, but that's so hard on me too. Again, if you have suggestions, if you have found a way to naturally decrease, slow down, or stop your period altogether, 
let me know. And we'll discuss it some more because, yeah, I want to figure it out. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting me rant and ramble with this to work it out. Yes. Much love, people.